This experience happened to me in 1978, shortly before Mount St. Helens blew its top. I was on the south side of the mountain, where I had hunted for years before going into the service. This was my first trip back to do some elk hunting, and I was so excited to be back home and able to go hunting, which I love so much. My hunting partner was not able to go with me on this trip, so I was going to make a solo trip, which I had done many times before. I knew the area very well and was prepared for what the area would present. I always take at least three days worth of provisions when hunting, as well as survival gear in the way of extra clothing, poncho, matches, fire starter, and other essential items in a backpack that I carry. I know that many others do not take such precautions when hunting, but I do because once while I was hunting, I got turned around so bad that I spent three days in the woods wishing I had something with me other than my gun, knife, and what I was wearing on my back. On this trip, I was going to hunt a power transmission line right of way. That allowed me to park on the logging road and walk about a mile to where I would sit on top of a ridge where I would be able to watch both sides of a hogback on top of the ridge. This allowed me to be able to have a clear shot for over 400 yards in either direction. I had taken several elk in this same location on various seasons over the years before entering the service. I walked in before the light and reached the spot where I intended to hunt before the sun came up. I was there all day and did not see a thing. This was highly unusual, as every other time I had chosen this location to hunt from, I always saw something. Deer, elk, even a black bear on several occasions. Maybe the things I would see on those hunting trips were not what I was looking for to hunt. But on this day, nothing seemed to be around, not even a rabbit. It was also quieter than I remembered. For some reason, I also had this feeling of being watched, but I thought it was nothing. It was getting later, about an hour before dark, close to when I would have to leave. I started to hear movement across the right of way in the woods. It was not the usual sounds you hear from an animal. More like someone walking in the woods. I thought that maybe someone else was hunting in this area, and took careful note to be careful, not to shoot in that direction should an elk walk out. I had never seen anyone else but me in this hunting area before. I had spent a lot of time gone while in the service, and thought maybe someone else had found out that this was a great location too. I continued to watch both sides of the hog back, but kept having that feeling I was being watched. Call it sixth sense or whatever. It was just a feeling I could not shake. I started to hear more movement in the woods across the right of way, and it sounded like it was someone walking towards me. I felt that, as late as it was, it was time to leave and walk back to my car. Knowing that someone was on the other side of the right of way and might shoot in my direction when I got up to leave, I yelled over and said I'm coming out. Don't shoot. More as a joke than anything. No one said anything, and there was no more movement from that direction. I once again yelled a little louder. I got up and started walking towards the dirt road that ran almost the center of the right-of-way and wandered back and forth between the transmission power towers. I thought it was funny that whoever it was didn't call back to say that they had heard me and had said it was okay. Once I got to the dirt road, I started back to my car, thinking that whoever it was didn't want to make any noise to scare any animals, as it was not quite dark enough to stop hunting. But for me, I felt the urge to leave. As I moved towards my car, the sound of walking in the woods started again, off to my right, just inside the tree line. I thought that maybe whoever it was had decided to walk out with me. But whoever it was did not come out of the woods, but just kept paralleling me. I stopped. They stopped. This was beginning to creep me out so I asked them to come out where I could see them. There was no reply. I again, in a louder voice, said, Enough is enough. No more games. Get out here so I can see you. Still, there was no reply. 
I took my gun off my shoulder and jacked around in the chamber, keeping the gun pointed in the direction of the area where I heard the walking. I had my safety on. I continued to walk to my car. When I walked, it walked. When I stopped, it stopped. As it was getting darker, I became worried. Maybe this was not a human. Remembering my experience when I was in the Marines, I began to think perhaps this might be a Bigfoot. I was also aware that maybe there might be another one on the left side of me. I started to watch not only my right side, but the left as well, as watching my back trail closely. After all, I would rather be safe than sorry. I still had quite a way to go to get back to my car, and I knew it would be dark by the time I got there if I didn't hurry, so I started to jog back so I could get there before it was dark. The thing to my right started keeping pace with me. I could hear it breaking limbs and what sounded like small trees as it kept pace with me. It was at this time I knew it was not a human being and was almost sure it was a Bigfoot. I made it to my car without ever seeing what it was, but I wasted no time in putting things away neatly. I simply threw my stuff in the car and got out of there as fast as I could. Even without seeing it, I can tell you it was not a bear, not a cougar, bobcat, or anything else that I have experienced in the woods. I cannot say for sure it was a Bigfoot, but I would bet all that I have that it was. Needless to say, I have never hunted in that area again. I want everyone to know that they should be extra observant when in the woods as well as armed. I am cautious when in or near the woods. I carry a 44 Magnum in a chest holder as well as my rifle, which is a 300 Win Mag. I am very proficient with either weapon. I forgot to mention, I was a sniper for the Marines during my tours in Vietnam as well as a marksmanship instructor before that. I can hit just about anything that I can see. But in the case of a Bigfoot, unless it was genuinely trying to hurt me or someone else with me, I don't think I could shoot one. The one that I did see while I was in the Marines looks far too much like a human to kill one. Not that I wouldn't shoot if it were necessary, just that I would not want to kill one just to say that I did when they had done nothing wrong. It's just my thought, but I think that sometimes the Bigfoot creatures are a little too curious for their own good. Other times, they just want you out of their territory and do what they can to get you to leave. Other times, they may have their own intentions, and that is why I am always armed when in the woods. If they are human-like, there are good and bad humans, making me think maybe they are a lot like us. I don't trust easily and I believe that is how we should treat these creatures.